Hi, I'm Jay Tyler. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how I solder a quad helix appliance that's got an interesting little spring in the anterior part of it. I'm also very excited about some new products I'm adding to my website. I've got the silver solder that I use in my videos. It's a nickel silver alloy that works great with orthodontic appliances. Now through the month of March, if you use the promotion code J, <laughs> you will save an additional 10%. So check it out on our website, ortholabvideos.com. Now let's go in the lab and solder that quad. Here's this pretty wild looking quad helix appliance with a soldered spring. Now it's really hard to get in here and solder these areas without overheating the surrounding parent metals and especially this 025 spring right here without annealing this area right there. So let me show you how to do that. I've got the wires roughened up and tapered. If you don't know what I'm doing there, check out our three-part series on soldering. And I've got the spring. I'm going to solder it from here to here. And I've got it so that I left a little room over here for the doctor to put his pliers in there and making an adjustment. So now I'm going to put heat protective compound on this. I'm very generous with my heat protective compound because I don't want anything to be overheated that doesn't need to be. Now I've got a wire with a dollop of silver solder on the end of it and I'm going to transfer this solder from the probe to the solder area. Now this is that nickel solder. It's got nickel in it as well as silver. And please watch my silver soldering video part one. I talk all about that. Uh, with the nickel you get not only the mechanical bond but you do get a chemical bond between it and the nickel chromium wires that we're going to be soldering here. All right, you can buy that solder on our website now. That's ortholabvideos.com. Now, I've got my little torch right here, and it's my propane torch. Got the flame adjusted, and I'm going to use this probe, dip it in the flux, and transfer the flux over to it. I'm going to heat it a little bit so it'll kind of run around. Okay, I'm going to turn my fan on so I can move the gases away from me. So, you'll probably hear that. I'm going to do the this little spring solder first. Now I want just enough heat to melt the solder. And that should be plenty. Okay, I should have enough solder on there to fully encase the, the wires. I want that done. And it looks like we did it. Okay, now I'm going to Put some more flux on this area over here. I'm going to heat it up so it'll kind of move it around a little bit. There we go. Let's see if I can turn this where you can see it. Now this is just this dollop here. This is just for the sweating process. And once again, watch my videos on silver soldering. I talk all about sweating. <laughs> okay, here we go. And this probe works nicely. I can move that solder around. Make sure it's on the band. Make sure it's everywhere it needs to be. Okay, now that solder joint is well sweated. Now, I've got my, my uh, solder wire right here handy and ready to go. And I always like to, uh, in these real complicated, uh, tight to get to places, I like to put a little flux on my solder wire and some more on the joint just to make sure it's going to flow well. Now I'm going to build the bulk up. I want to fully encase the wire. And once it's sweated, you just adding the bulk, you're melting solder to solder, so you're not concerned about adhering to the parent metal. At this point, you're just wanting to build the bulk up. So there we go. That should be fine. Now with this probe, it makes it handy. You can get that solder in there and use this probe to just kind of move it around. Now, I also keep my uh, titanium heat probe around handy, too, in case I need it. And uh, the titanium, I have a video on that as well. It's, the solder doesn't stick to it, so you can use it like a little paintbrush to move solder around. Very handy to have handy when you're soldering. And we sell that on the website as well. Okay. Okay, that's 
that's well sweated. I'm going to add a little bulk to it. There we go. Here it is all cleaned up and polished up. I got my hand in that last solder joint so you couldn't see. Sorry about that. But check out our website, ortholabvideos.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.